my laptop had a black screen for three days and now it seems to be working again just fine and I don't understand that at all but while it's up I went ahead and I created PDFs of this Grubhub uh, summary this this overview that I have created um, let me go back here to the overview because people are asking for it. So here I've created uh, a summary of the months and the amounts of time that was paid, which as you can see was $4,800 for my time, but Grubhub reported $20,000. Um, of that $20,000, $5,000 of it was for mileage and 10,000 of it was for tips. So the tips were twice as much as what Grubhub paid for the entire year. And the mileage was even more than what Grubhub paid for time as an independent contractor, because they state that we're independent contractors, but I argue that we are not. However, I have a 1099, I filed my tax this way, and now other people are wanting the information that I have compiled. So I'm creating this video real quick to show them. Grubhub email states we're paid for time, we're paid for mileage, and we're paid for tip. They do have these other things like this mission incentive um, that is to get us to move fast. Here is the average mileage rate that they paid, and you can see it changed over time. Um, it was 24 cents for quite some time, and then it jumped to 42 cents, and then 51 cents, and then back down to 41 cents. But here are the, well, first here are the fees, the bank, the cash out fees, because in order to get your money from Grubhub, you have to root pay the 50 cents to get it out. Um, they say you don't have to, that you can just wait until the week is over. But in my analysis, while I was doing this analysis, I noticed that if I did not request the payout, they did not pay me. They eventually caught up, but their numbers are off. It's, it's, it's not exact. They corrected some of the errors, some of them they didn't miss. So the total thing is off, but it's only off by $5.53 from the amount that they, so the 20961 is what it is that I have um, uh, from the emails that they have provided. And the 1099 is 20952 So that's not, you know, $5 is not that big of a difference. 952 to 961. Um, it seems like eight dollars, eight dollars and six. Okay. Anyway, so I took the 1099 and I broke it out into the rate, the amount that they actually paid, the amount of bonus, and again the bonuses were based on. Um, whether the customer tipped or not, because Grubhub likes to claim that they pay their people a certain amount of money and they actually don't. Um, then they also want to claim that we're independent contractors, but they don't pay us as independent contractors. They, they play the system to their benefit in order to hire people for as cheaply as possible to get the job done and the consumer um, the person using their service actually is the one that pays for everything. They pay Grubhub for the use of their app. They pay, the restaurant pays Grubhub for the use of the service. And then, of course, the driver pays with their vehicle. Now, and, and to actually get the money from them. So, I delivered over 2,000 orders last year, and that's how many orders I delivered per month. Here's the total hours of accepted deliveries, which doesn't include the wait time and 
the delivery time. It's literally the, the amount of time that it took you to get there. So if I break it out per order, on the average for the year, it was $2.25 per order. Um, and that's the delivery rate, which is the time paid divided by the number of orders delivered, which would be the 2000. So the 4,800 total divided by the 2,100 orders gives us $2.25. Breaking it out per hour, we take the delivery rate, again, the $4,800, and divide it by the average hours. Now the average hours is based on the total hours of accepted deliveries, plus I added a half hour average for the wait time and delivery time, which equals average hours. So let's say for the month of, um, whatever month this was, March, it was 180 hours for the month. And you can see some of these other months were a lot more. And then I broke them down I have a, a spreadsheet for each of these. So this one is for July, August, and September. And here we can see, um, here's the time of the first accepted delivery and the last. That one was just two orders. But we get down to some of these other ones. Um, you know, here's eight hours of delivery time. Here's 12 hours of delivery time. 12 hours, 11, 11, 12, and they just, when we go up to, when we change the amount of hours to a decimal so that we can actually use it in the calculation, there's a formula for that, plus the extra half hour equals the four Point seven two hours for this particular day that um, I had deliveries for. That particular day, I was paid two dollars and seventy cents in time per order. I was paid. $5.15 in time per hour. And if I include the bonus that they paid for speedy delivery, then that includes, that comes up to $6.42 per hour for the number of hours it is that I worked that day. And you can see this is the month of July. So in the beginning of July, you can see, oh, because the bonuses aren't considered the rate. That's something separate. Um, but if we look at this, we're looking at roughly $5 per hour that Grubhub was paying. And as we move farther down in the month, we notice that it drops down to closer to $2 or less than $2 per hour. And then it changes again here. And what they did is they were initially paying more for the time and less for the mileage. The mileage rate was 24 cents per mile that they were paying. And then they increased it to 49 cents per mile and they decreased the amount that they paid per time. And that's why we see the drop from $5 to $2 is because Grubhub wanted to make sure that we could still put gas in our vehicles, that they gave us enough money to put gas in our vehicles so that we could continue driving. But they didn't want to continue paying us for our time and to, to weigh that out to their benefit, which saved them money by doing so, but it makes the driver seem like they're getting paid more because they're actually, um, you know, they're seeing more money in mileage, 
but they are not understanding that when you break it down, they're actually getting paid less. This was July of 2022. There is no contractor ever or any employee ever who would accept a job to use their newer vehicle to be paid $2 an hour or less. Now, I'm not saying this to bash the company or anything like that. Um, the facts speak for themselves. You can take it as you will. I have filed my taxes for the year based on the information provided in the 1099. Um, as I look into this more, I will be filing an amended return because they included $20,000 as my 1099 amount. And the federal government says mileage is not included as a rate of pay. And so they're, they're even screwing these drivers over on their taxes because they're saying that they're paying them $20,000, for instance, and they really only paid them five because the rest of it was to keep their vehicle moving <laughs> and maintain, um, and that in, in tips from the, the customers that's 75 percent less than what they're claiming i there is there is no contract with grubhub for any of these drivers in my dealings with contracts i have always had a contract that was very detailed it, it stated what the rate would be it, would, it had the time period it would you know, lay out all of the, the details of what that agreement would be. That That's a contract. Arbitrarily giving categories of saying, oh, well, we'll pay you for your time, but they're not going to tell you what they're going to pay you for your time. And they constantly change it without giving any heads up, without um, advising. Now, I probably had some help in getting the mileage increased because I had noticed the gas prices were going up a lot <laughs> and I didn't have enough money to put it in my car. And so they, in, they did say, oh, well, we're going to help out the drivers. They sent out emails. Hey, we're increasing the amount of mileage, blah, 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 again, to make them look better. But they didn't say we're going to decrease the amount that we're going to pay you for your time. They just did it. And of course, nobody really looks at these things. And when I decided to pull everything together and I have every email, as does every other driver for Grubhub. So it's not just me. Any driver can put a spreadsheet like this together and look for themselves. Um, and I guess I'm pointing this out because being a business analyst, I, I feel like I'm a problem magnet. And a problem magnet needs... Um, better solutions, magnetic solutions, if you will. There's, there's nothing wrong with pointing out the issues in a business. That's called transparency. Um, this is something that needs to be addressed. Who, who addresses it? Who um, looks into it? I, I don't know all the governing agencies that oversee these types of things, but there's got to be somebody who overlooks businesses that are um, literally out there hiring slave labor. You know, they, they talk about, you know, hiring people from outside of the country. Well, what about the U.S. citizens that they're, <laughs> they're hiring to do this? Putting a facade on it that they're getting paid 15 or $16 an hour. which is, is clearly not the case, no matter how it is that you slice it. Um, it it's just, it's a complete lie. And, and I personally, until these, um, this situation is corrected, I honestly would not suggest that any business utilize Grubhub for their services, use the other services. I understand from um, my interactions with some of the insurance companies that 
The other services handle things differently. I don't know the details behind them. Again, those drivers would need to look into that. And I also would not suggest any customer use the service until this has been straightened out and verified by the drivers. And after my vehicle was totaled and I asked Grubhub for a copy of my contract that says that I agreed to be paid 50 cents to drive my newer vehicle 20 minutes to a restaurant. Uh, I, I said, you know, where, where is that contract that, that shows that I agreed to that? Well, then they decided to send me an email back stating that I was no longer um, able to drive for them anymore. And I'm like, well, great, thanks. You know, my car is totaled. You're not paying. My insurance company isn't paying. And, and actually, I, I kind of feel like the insurance company should pay. I had full coverage on my insurance. I paid everything up. The contract says, you know, if you are paid, if it's a voluntary thing, if you're doing it for charity, well, I think $2, less than $2 an hour is pretty much considered charity, wouldn't you think? Because, <laughs> you know, that was basically mileage that was being paid. Um, or, or I'm sorry, that was, you know, that was the time, uh, you know, $2 an hour. If that's not considered charity work, you know, what is considered charity work? Doing it for free? And, and they, oh, and also in the contract with Progressive, it says, you know, if you're paid, if it's voluntary, if it's, um, you know, charity work, or if you're getting paid, you know, mileage. Well, it, we're getting paid mileage. Grubhub's email even says we're paying you mileage. Their emails that they send out every single day, every week, says that you're paid mileage. It doesn't get any plainer than that. You have, you know, that your apples and apples. The progressive insurance policy should pay out on my vehicle, period. And they, and they didn't. And so now the banks are screwed. I'm screwed. And the thing is, is, you know, these companies, both the banks and these insurance insurance companies, and I say that with quotes because insurance does nobody any good if they're not actually going to follow through with what it is that their policy states. Their policy states they will pay out if this is the situation. And they're not honoring that. And they're not informing their employees how to read <laughs> the policy. The employees are refusing to understand how to read the policy. And every time it is that I tried to call, I just kept getting turned back to those same two individuals. And I repeated, and when I left messages, I said, I do not want to talk to these individuals. I need to speak with somebody else who actually understands the policies. And again, those same two people ended up calling me back. And, you know, this is when there's wrong going on. I think this is where it is that I that I'm, I'm here in this lifetime for because there's enough of it. <laughs> That somebody needs to regulate these people. Um, and, and again, it's, I, I understand that they're trying to provide a service. I understand that they're trying to do it as cheaply as possible, but it should not be at the expense of everybody else who is trying to help them do that. It's not, it shouldn't be at the expense of the bank who was trying to help them do that. It shouldn't be at the expense of the person who is actually doing the driving and providing the vehicle to help them do that and leaving me without a vehicle and owing on a vehicle, you know, that's just, that's just, that, that, that's not right. It's not right. I don't care how it is that you slice it. It's not right. And somebody needs to take a look at this. So I am glad that my computer decided to come back up again today. I was really wishing that it would so that I could get this information um, out to the individuals that are currently asking for it. So I did create PDFs and I, and I emailed them to myself at two different emails. So I do have those. 
And I will be printing those out um, just in case my computer decides to go black screen again. But I am grateful that it came up so that I could pull this information together and to put this video together to show that Grubhub delivery, delivery drivers are really, they're not paid what you think. And the real pay comes from the customer's tips. And when customers don't pay a tip, that's when Grubhub will throw in like 50 cents or a dollar. And that's what those bonuses are. Um, it's a, hey, we know, we recognize that they didn't give you a tip and we know that, you know, you're only getting paid 50 cents to actually go do all of this stuff over the next hour. <laughs> so here's another dollar, you know, and that's, that's appreciated, but it's, that's not a business. That's not a business for anyone to to partake in. So I'm going to go ahead and get this edited, get it posted, and uh, I'll let you guys decide. I need to get this paperwork over to the individuals that are asking for it. And um, I'll talk to you later.